Okay, welcome to part two. Hope you guys can see here what I mean about overblending and underblending. I think I like the right side better, but you guys let me know what you think. So I tapped over the center of the lid with the synthetic brush that we used to blend out P. Louise base. Because it had a little bit left over on the brush, it added a little bit of a tacky base for our pigment to stick to. I first went in with Peaches and Cream Gatsby pigment just to create that nice light wash of gold. And then I went in with NYX Glitter Glue and a chunky gold glitter from Amazon. And then I went in with a clean flat brush and just lightly pressed that into the eyelid to make sure none was going to flake off. And then jumping into eyeliner, I'm using Inglot 77 Gel AMC Liner. That tape just made it really, really easy to get a nice, crisp, clean wing. Then removing any fallout under the eyes with the Johnson's Face Wipes. I'm just doing a little bit of color matching, and then I realized I had to do the inner corner flick, which is honestly the thing that I don't hate, but I know I need to work on it. And it makes me nervous and I can never get it first go. And it's just one of those things as a makeup artist that it takes me about five extra minutes longer than what it probably should. I'm not even going to walk you through the steps that I took because none of them will be helpful. <laughs> okay, so moving on to foundation. I am blending it in with this perfect freaking brush from Kmart. It's $10 and I have three of them now. The foundation shades I used was MAC Studio Fix in C40 and Estee Lauder Double Wear in Cashew mixed together. It was beautiful bronzy but also had that nice olive undertone. And just look at her go. She is such a cool little brush. I'm so glad I found it. So I'm blending it all over her face, down her neck, on her chest, just making everything look nice and seamless and then going in with the Tarte Shape Tape. We're concealing and highlighting, so I'm just taking it underneath the eyes, kind of down around the nose, on the chin, and on the forehead. Blending out the chin and the forehead with the brush, and then going in with the Beauty Blender for the under eyes. Adding more coverage where I think I need it, and blending it straight out. And cleaning up my attempt, <laughs> let's call it. Now we're cream contouring with Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Mocha and blending her out and we are contouring again her perfect little button nose then going in with p louise winter rose base perfect blush it's pretty much a go-to for me now i'm using it on everyone i place it where i want it and then blend her out and then i go over with a beauty blender to mesh everything in with the concealer join me for the final part <laughs> 